Welcome to Numbers World. Today we are going to solve past papers of iCAT's mathematics contest of year 2018 for grade 1 and 2. Let's start it. Question number 1. Ms. Turner is at grocery store. She already has 6 apples and 8 bananas. She needs a total of 20 apples. Which number sentence can be used to find numbers of apples Ms. Turner needs to buy? So it is given in the question that she has 6 apples and 8 bananas. She wants to make a total of 20 apples. So we will look at 6 only because our interest is in number of apples. So 6 plus what is equal to 20? Although it's 14, but our interest is not in the answer. We just want to make a number sentence, which is our option A. Question number 2. These 6 basketball jerseys are hanging on a wall. Lolly's favorite basketball player each have an odd number on their jerseys. Which list shows only the numbers of Laurie's favorite basketball player? So an even number is a number which comes in the table of 2. Or in other words, it is divisible by 2. Like 2, 4, 6, 8 and 0 as well. And rest of the numbers like 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 are called odd numbers. So as Laurie's favorite basketball players have odd number on their jerseys, so we are going to find out our odd number. We can see 21 is written at the first jersey. So focus on the 1's place of 21. It's written 1. So 1 is not divisible by 2. It doesn't come in the table of 2. So 21 is an odd number. On the next jersey, we have 10. So 0 is written at the 1's place of 10. 0 is an even number. So 10 is an even number. We can clearly see 5 is written at the 1's place of 25 and it is not divisible by 2. So 25 is an odd number. Here we have 2 at the 1's place. 2 1's are 2. It means it is divisible by 2. So 52 is an even number. Again we have 0 at the 1's place of 50. So it's an even number. We have 3 at the 1's place which doesn't come in the table of 2. So 33 is an odd number. So here we have 21, 25 and 33, which is in option B. This is the list which shows only the numbers of Laurie's favorite basketball players. Question number 3. A baseball league bought 4 boxes of baseballs. Each box contained 9 baseballs. How many baseballs did the league buy? To find out the total number of baseballs, we are going to multiply the number of boxes by the number of baseballs in each box. So, 9 fours are 36, which is our option A. There are 36 baseballs in total. Question number 4. Debra and Shelly started running a race at 9 a.m. Debra finished in 45 minutes. Shelly finished the race 20 minutes after Debra did. Which clock shows the time Shelly finished the race? So, we know the starting time is 9 o'clock. Debra finished the race in 45 minutes, so her ending time is 9.45. Shelly finished the race 20 minutes after Debra, so we are going to add 20 into 9.45 to find out the finishing time of Shelly. That is 10.5. We can look at all the clocks. 10.5 is represented by the first clock, so option A is the correct option. Question number 5. The table shows the number of puzzle pieces in 4 puzzles. Derek put together the 2 puzzles that had the greatest number of pieces. What is the total number of pieces in these two puzzles? Let's find out the puzzle with the highest number of pieces. That is boat, which has 498 puzzle pieces. The and, the, and the second puzzle, which has highest number of pieces, is waterfall, which has 473 puzzle pieces. We are going to find out the sum of the both numbers, which is equal to 971. We cannot find this answer in our options. So, option D will be our answer. It's not here. Question number 6. Randa traveled on an airplane three times last year. In January, she traveled 278 miles. In April, she traveled 652 miles. In September, she traveled 767 miles. How many more miles did Randa travel in January and April combined? Then she traveled in September. We are going to add the number of miles she covered in January and April to find out the total number of miles, which is equal to 930 miles. As this is a question of comparison, so we are going to subtract the number of miles she traveled in September out of the total, which is equal to 163 miles. So we may say 
that she traveled 163 miles more in September than in January and April combined. So option C is the correct one. Question number seven, which statement about the number 34 is true? Option A is it is odd because the digit in the tenth place is odd. It's incorrect because to find out an even or odd number, we look at the unit's place, not the tens. So it's wrong. Secondly, it's not an odd number because the number that is written at the unit's place is 4. That is divisible by 2. So 34 is an even number, not the odd. Option B is it is even because the digits in the tens place is even. So if we look at the digits at the tens place, it's 3. And 3 is not divisible by 2. So 3 is not an even number. So option B is incorrect. C is it is odd because it can be divided by 3 evenly. It's incorrect because 34 cannot be divided by 3. Option D is it is even because it can be divided by 2 evenly. That's correct. As we discussed before, 34 is an even number because 4 is divisible by 2. So option D is the correct one. Question number 8. The graph below shows the favorite sport of each of 160 people. According to the graph, how many more people chose baseball than karate as their favorite sport? So we may see the bar of baseball is ending exactly at 40. So 40 people chose baseball. And the bar of karate is finishing between 20 and 30. It means it's 25. As this is a question of comparison, so we are going to subtract the numbers. 40 minus 25 is equal to 15. So we may say that 15 people chose baseball than karate as their favorite sport. That is our option A. Question number 9. I would arrange some cherries into groups as shown below. Which expression represents the total number of cherries I would arrange? So we can see the total number of groups are 4. 3 cherries are in each group. To find out the total, we will multiply the number of groups by the number of cherries in each group. So 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. So option B is the correct one. Question number 10. Cindy made the number pattern shown. Which two numbers should be next in Cindy's pattern? So let's find out the rule first. If we subtract 29 out of 33, the answer is 4. Similarly, if we subtract the next number out of the previous, the answer is 4. In other words, we may say the rule is subtract 4 out of the previous number to get the next one. We are going to apply the same rule to get our next two numbers. The last number was 17. So 17 minus 4 is equal to 13 and 13 minus 4 is equal to 9. So 13 and 9 are the next number of the pattern. So option C is the correct one. Question number 11. In science class, Rose kept track of the height of her plant. The height of her plant after three weeks is shown in the picture below. Which fraction of a foot is the height of Rose plant? To find out the fraction, we will count the number of colored parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So our numerator, the upper part of the fraction will be 7. That is represented in option B and D. So it means option A and C are incorrect. So let's find out the denominator, means the lower part of the fraction. To do that, we will count the total number of parts. So we have counted till 7. Let's continue the countings from 7 onwards. It's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 is our denominator. So the fraction is 7 by 12, which is our option D. Question number 12, 14 blocks were used to build this three-layer pyramid. How many blocks would we need to build a five layer pyramid? So we can see there is only one block in the first layer. So one ones are one. In the second layer, we have four blocks that can be produced by multiplying two with two. Two twos are four. In the third layer, there are nine blocks, which is equal to three multiplied by three. So we will follow the same pattern to get the missing number of blocks in fourth and fifth layer. So there will be 16 blocks in the fourth layer as four fours are 16. And 25 blocks will be in the fifth layer as 5 fives are 25. So we have 14 blocks present in the form of three layers. To find out the missing number of blocks, we will add the number of blocks in fourth and fifth layer. So 16 plus 25 is equal to 41. So 41 blocks are needed to make a five layer pyramid, which is our option B.
question number 13 how many numbers are there which are greater than 88 so we can see the list of the numbers we need the numbers which are greater than 88 so there are three numbers 99 100 and 101 which are greater than 88 that is our option a question number 14 which part of the shape is smallest to find that out, we will count the number of squares taken by each shape. So, orange shape is taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, red shape is taking 4 squares. Similarly, the blue shape is also uh, covering 4 squares. If we count the number of squares taken by the green shape, it's 1, 2, and 3. So, so green shape is smallest of all. That is our option C. Question number 15, which set of bricks is less heavier? So we can see the size of the blocks. It's quite obvious the pink colored blocks are less heavier than all. So option A is the correct one. Question number 16, Sanders ran for 22 minutes. Gabe ran 7 minutes longer than Sanders did. Helen ran 12 minutes less than Gabe. For how many minutes did Helen run? Sanders ran for 22 minutes and Gabe ran 7 minutes longer than Sanders. So we are going to add 7 into 22. So it means Gabe ran for 29 minutes. Helen ran 12 minutes less than Gabe. The less means subtraction. So we will subtract 12 out of the time of Gabe. So that was 29. 29 minus 12 is equal to 17 minutes. Helen ran for 17 minutes, which is our option B. Question number 17, Anita ran part of a one mile relay race. The part of the race she ran is shown on the number line below. Anita started at point X and finished at point Y. What fraction of the one mile relay race did she run? So we can see the whole distance is divided into six parts. As Anita ran only one part out of six, so we may say the distance from X to Y is one out of six. That is our option A. Question number 18, Rook's baby Ryan weighed 7 pounds when he was born. Rook weighed her baby each month after he was born. Ryan's weight each month in pounds is shown in the table below. Which statement about the weight of the baby is true? We can notice a pattern over here. At the time of birth, his weight was 7 pounds. After one month, he gained 2 pounds and his weight was 9 pounds. And each month he gained 2 pounds and the new weights are written in the table as well. So option A is the baby gained 1 pound each month. That's wrong. Option B is the baby gained 2 pounds each month. That is the correct option because we can see a jump of 2 in the weights. So option B is the correct one and option C and D are wrong. Question number 19, Bob is buying gummy bears at a grocery store. He places his bag of gummy bears on the scale shown below. What is the best estimate of the weight in gram of Bob's gummy bears? So let's find out what is the value in between 200 and 300. It's 250. So let's check our options. Option, option A is 250 grams. So which is incorrect because arrow is not exactly at 250. If we look at option C and D, 325 and 350, these two options are also incorrect because arrow is not crossing 300. It's in between 250 and 300. The so option B is the correct one because in the center of 250 and 300, it's 275 grams. Question number 20, Andrew visits the library. It takes Andrew 26 minutes to walk from his house to the library. He stays at the library 45 minutes. His mother drives him home, which takes 15 minutes. How many more minutes does Andrew spend at the library than traveling to and from the library? It takes 26 minutes Andrew to walk from his house to the library. And his mother drives him back in 15 minutes. So we will find out the total traveling time by adding 26 and 15. That is equal to 41 minutes. Now he spends 45 minutes in the library. To find out that how much more time he spends in the library, we are going to find out the difference between both the times that is equal to 4 minutes. So, his option A is the correct one. He spends 4 minutes more in library than the traveling time. I hope you liked my video. So, don't forget to like and comment on it and subscribe my channel.